is up Morton here from flipnormals.com and in this quick little video we're going to take a look at the, um, at the secret little menu connected to the clipping brushes inside of ZBrush. Uh, so the clipping brushes, for anyone who doesn't know, um, like if you press B and C to get the clipping brushes up, uh, they just replace your standard sort of selection, selection brushes for like isolating different parts of your mesh. And with these you can cut out parts of your mesh but if you hold down control and space and this doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or PC it's control and space so you get the this little menu here for the B radius and polygroup for example so the B radius is really nice in in a way where you can you define a radius and I suggest you use the dynamic draw size for this just to like make sure that it's always the same no matter what the distance is from the object um, so I think it's easier to just show you this actually so if we just drag it out here and we clip something away you can see now as opposed to before where it clipped everything away it clips away uh, the center part of the brush part and then just indents the rest so this is really great for for like hard surface stuff where you need to make cuts but like preserve some of the some of the detail on the upper level and you can then go in afterwards and un just unclip it, uh, which is really practical. Another really handy feature is the polygroup feature. So right now you can see everything in here on my mesh is just one polygroup. Uh, but with polygroups turned on, as you might expect, it uh, creates a separate polygroup just for this clip. So you can then go in and isolate this part and maybe just work with that. So yeah, this was just a quick little ZBrush tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.